Papa, the president has rushed back for a meeting at the White House. What do we know of his next um, actions? We don't know what he'll do next. We know that he cut short his weekend in his home state of Delaware, came back for that meeting in the Situation Room where his cabinet, his national security team, was hastily convened. He has posted on the platform X, formerly Twitter, uh, suggesting that meeting has concluded, at least in the interim. He says, I just met with my national security team for an update on the attacks. And the president saying our commitment to Israel's security against threats from Iran and its proxies is ironclad. Now, ironclad is a word that the president often uses uh, when he's talking about U.S. support for Israel. In that photo in the White House Situation Room, you can see uh, the Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Charles Q. Brown, and, for example, the uh, Secretary of State, uh, Antony Blinken. Uh, we are hearing unconfirmed reports that U.S. officials are saying that U.S. forces have been involved in intercepting some of those uh, drones launched from Iran. No official word uh, from any U.S. Uh, officials on that, uh, but certainly highly likely that the U.S. is doing its very best to try and uh, repel and take down uh, some of the these uh, drones heading towards Israel. We heard earlier from a national security spokeswoman saying that they expected the attack to unfold out over a matter of hours. Of course, we, we have essentially now seen that. Not clear whether the president uh, will remain with his team there throughout the night. We're well into the evening on Saturday here in the U.S., but that's the information we have so far from the White House. Now, Barbara, this all comes at a tense time in the U.S.-Israel relations over Gaza. That's right. We saw the president essentially issue what sounded like a threat towards Israel after the deaths of those uh, aid workers, including the Australian Zomi Frankham in Gaza. He said that the U.S. wanted to see concrete steps to alleviate civilian harm and suffering in Gaza, and he suggested that U.S. support for Israel could be dependent on that. Now, following that, of course, we, say, we heard Israel said it would open several more humanitarian corridors into Gaza. We know that those talks are ongoing, trying to get some of the uh, remaining hostages out of Gaza. But this is a different story. This is Iran uh, attacking Israel and the president and his team very, very quick to come out here and say that their support, uh, using that, their word again, um, is ironclad. Of course, there will be deep concerns at the White House here in Washington, as there are throughout the region, about what this means in terms of a, a wider, a possible wider escalation of that regional conflict. All right, Barbara Miller there speaking to us in Washington. Thank you.